Hey everyone, me Kevin here. I want to address one of the issues that keeps coming up regarding China and supply chain shortages. And honestly, I don't think we really in recognize how big of a deal COVID is to Asia and the supply chain shortages. And quite frankly, I didn't either until I discovered this. And so I'm going to break down exactly what this is in this video. We're going to keep it nice, short and sweet, uh, but let's get right into it because I think it's really worth knowing, especially as an investor right now. So what's really important to know is that in Asia, which right now makes up 42% of glo global exports, in Asia, when there's a case of COVID, specifically in China, they tend to just literally shut down the ports. Like here's an example where it says, in which China, or China in which, has a zero tolerance approach to COVID. A worker's infection discovered last week halted all shipping from one terminal. Uh, so in other words, one person gets COVID, they'll shut down the shipping terminals. And we already know that container prices have four to eight extra more. I mean, usually if a uh, 40 foot container is like $1,500, COVID's taken that to like three to four grand. Uh, some folks are doing longer term shipping contracts around these ranges, but some uh, or single off shipping containers are going for prices as high as $9,500 right now. It's absolutely insane. And they usually don't just shut down these ports for a few days either. Get this right here. The shutdown, the one that we just mentioned, follows the closure of the Yantian port in Shenzhen for about one month after a small outbreak, which had ripple effects for international shipping. And because a lot of shipping might start in China, we sometimes don't see those supply chain disruptions in the United States or say like at Los Angeles ports until sometimes four to six weeks later. And then all of a sudden we have a big clog of, of congestion that comes in, in in Los Angeles ports because for a certain period of time you got nothing and then all of a sudden you get overwhelmed from, from Chinese shipments trying to catch up. Uh, so you, you've really got this uh, insane ripple that goes through the international shipping community and Delta's just going to make this worse. I mean, they had a small outbreak and they shut down the port for a month. Like these inflation concerns around supply chain issues are just going to continue to get worse. This is why lately I've been so into RCC real estate cash crypto. I mean, take a look at this. In Vietnam, authorities have ordered ordered manufacturers to allow workers to sleep overnight at factories because the share of the vaccinated people or of, of vaccinated people of the population is only 1% in Vietnam. So they're saying, hey, let's just have folks sleep at the factories so they don't go home and get COVID. Things are getting worse and worse as most factories in the southern provinces had to stop operations. Uh, and uh, it, factories in the north have been struggling to maintain production. Look, we're worried about, uh, like, we hear, oh, Toyota's cutting production by 40%. Like, we hear those headlines. But when we hear these, these anecdotes of, of quotes or these statistics from, from China, we hear that things are getting worse and worse. Delta's going to make shipping supply chain issues even worse. We hear container prices are skyrocketing. Uh, only 1% of people are vaccinated in Vietnam, and now they're trying to get people to sleep on factory floors so they don't get sh sick to shut down production at the same time as China will shut down a port for, for an entire month wrecking supply chains uh, in, in, in certain regions in China. It's, it's crazy. Uh, and now, I'm not saying like their policies are crazy, but the impact of, to the markets is crazy. Uh, like we, we can't underestimate how bad this uh, this this chip and supply crisis really is. And it really affects just so many different things. I mean, almost everything we use right now, it's chips, chips, chips. Uh, so it's crazy. Last year, during the peak of the pandemic, we thought it would be short term. But looking forward, I don't think there will be a substantial change soon, they say. In other words, they don't think it's going to get better anytime soon. I don't think anything could reverse this in the short term. You can't predict anything during this pandemic, though, in other words. So you've got these crazy anecdotes of, of, of real pain in the shipping sectors. At the same time, you're seeing growth. You know, here's an article uh, that in the Wall Street Journal. The last one was in the LA Times. Here's one from the Wall Street Journal where they're talking about how the U.S. right now is outperforming Chinese growth. And that could potentially be because of their more draconian kind of COVID style lockdowns uh, that, that they do or shutdowns that they do and their measures they take. Uh, but uh, it, 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 some also worry that China's slowdown 
is sort of the bellwether for a slowdown in the United States that could just get amplified by chip shortages. So purpose of this video, we, we, gotta, we gotta drill down on a few things. Number one, the supply chain issues, they're not, they're not getting better. If anything, right now they're getting worse because of Delta. The vaccine news that came out this morning is very bad, okay? Like very, 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 very bad. In fact, there are two particular screenshots uh, I wanna show you in case you have not heard what the vaccine news was. Uh, so some work on studies uh, or, or a study released in the United Kingdom. New UK data shows signs of waning immunity against COVID-19 in, uh, uh, in infection for the Pfizer, BioNTech, and AstraZeneca vaccine, those two. You've got, uh, look at the, this here. You go from these high numbers of in the 90% immunity range down after four and a half months to 61%. Uh, and then it just it just goes off a cliff here. I mean, after six months, uh, six to eight months, you, you could be even substantially lower. I mean, here the Pfizer chart is showing that after potentially five months, you could be under 50%. This is crazy. Uh, and, and this is really bad because it potentially means uh, people who don't want to get the vaccine now are uh, reiterated or, or have sort of reiterating data saying, yeah, I don't want to get the vaccine. Like, why would I get the vaccine if it loses efficacy after, after you know, four and a half months or whatever? Uh, now, don't get me wrong, like 61% or whatever, still good. Uh, it's, it's, in my opinion, I think vaccination is a great idea. We want to prevent people from going into the hospital. Uh, the, the Guardian just did a whole thing. Uh, this was, well, we should pull this one up too. The Guardian just did a whole thing about how the uh, the people in hospitals right now are just younger and younger and younger. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really kind of scary. So uh, I'm all for the vaccine, but the point is uh, even with the vaccine, people are still able to spread it like crazy. Uh, and, uh, and and that's that's what's so scary about uh, the Delta variant is that you've really got this situation where, uh, where's the darn thing? Here it is. Uh, oh yeah, 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 found it. Uh, people are basically Trojan horses, the ones who get the vaccine, they're still able to spread uh, COVID. Uh, and, and of course it reduces hospitalizations if you have the vaccine, but look at this. Hospitalizations of people under 50 with COVID are now at the highest level seen in the US since the start of the pandemic. Largest increase in hospitalizations was amongst those in their 30s and under 18. Uh, which is crazy. The previous peak in COVID patients under 50 needing to be hospitalized was in January of this year. And, uh, you know, children under 12 are not able to get shots yet, which is kind of frustrating for, for a lot of folks. Just over half of Americans are fully vaccinated. 70% have one shot at this point. Uh, UK, by the way, is at like 88 to 90% have one shot. But anyway, th this is obviously concerning. Uh, in addition to, uh, where is it? Right here, we've got this article uh, in uh, Bloomberg, or this, uh, this particular section of an article in Bloomberg, right here. Look at this. You've got uh, when vaccinated, people did get infected with, De and people got infected with Delta. They were shown to have similar levels of virus in their bodies as those who did not have shots. <coughs> Excuse me. This suggests that vaccinating large portions of a population might not protect those who don't get vaccines, casting doubt on the idea of herd immunity. In other words, Delta is just gonna rampage our supply chain issues even more because if you think about it, if people are at ports or factories or whatever, and uh, whether they're vaccinated or not, they could still spew COVID everywhere. Uh, and, and so we go into the winter months here. I don't know, it just seems like, it just doesn't seem good. Um, now look, I'm, I, I think a lot of you know, it's like, look, Kevin's RCC, real estate cash crypto right now. Uh, but um, I still obviously hold uh, a substantial portion of my portfolio in in technology uh, and 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 higher value uh, stocks, so like higher valuation <laughs> stocks, not to be confused with value stocks. But uh, a lot of these things just make me more and more nervous and make me want to be a little bit more insulated and then be able to buy the dip as potentially the market continues to dip, which uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of that fluctuation in the market. So anyway, uh, very important conclusions here, very important things to know about the market. A little more nuanced, but did you know all those things about what's going on at the Chinese port? I didn't. Uh, and then obviously this this um, Delta variant uh, study impact on on vaccines. It sucks. That's all it is. It sucks. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do encourage you to get vaccinated, uh, although I respect personal choice. 
And uh, folks, thank you so much for watching. Check out the program's link down below for 40% off the amazing programs on building your wealth, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.